Welcome back guys. In this video, we will learn how to properly use the new hero, Matilda. Matilda can be support or an assassin, depending on your build and emblem configuration. She is incredibly agile and has three supporting skills, as well as high damage in her first skill. Matilda is great hero with unique skills and great potential. I will provide two builds for Matilda. One to play her as a support and other to play as an assassin mage. Here is support build. Now let's check out assassin build. For emblems, we will be using support emblem for support build and custom mage emblem for assassin build. Now, check out support emblem. Here is mage emblem. When we talk about which battle spell work better on her, there is no clear answer as she has shield as well as agility. She has movement speed boost and her skills have shield, immunity to crowd control and escape, flicker, execute and flame shots. Our best choice for supporting your teammates as well as work, well with assessment. I personally recommend Flicker as it can be used with her second skill to teleport ally along with her. Let's check out her skills. Passive Ancestral Guidance Matilda gains stack of Ancestral Guidance when moving. When it's fully charged, Matilda's next basic attack will deal extra magic damage to enemy and increase her movement speed by 60 points for 2.5 seconds. Now, it takes 50 stacks of Ancestral Guidance to trigger basic attack with extra magic damage. Number of stacks depending upon distance covered by you. So more movement speed equals to more distance equals to faster stacks. Now, first skill, Soul Blue. Matilda summons power of ancestors and surrounded herself with wisp. For 3.5 seconds, more wisp will be added as she travels just like her passive. The wisp are kept at 6 at most. On tapping skill again or after 3 seconds, all wisp will attack nearby enemies, dealing high magic damage but damage is reduced when hitting the same target. In easy words, the more distance you will travel when your first skill is active, the more wisp will be added and the higher wisp count, higher the damage. If you can combine passive and first skill, then you can easily increase your wisp count with enhanced movement speed. Now second skill, Garden Mind. Metal does dashes in a specific direction and gains a shield and 25% movement speed for 4 seconds. She also makes a ring around herself. All ally in the ring will also receive 50% shield. That's a plus point. All ally heroes who come in contact with the ring will gain a new ability which can allow them to teleport to Mathilda. You can also use Flicker to teleport whole team whenever you want to gank or if you want to retreat from a battle. There is no restriction on distance. Eli will follow Matilda as far as she will go. A new button appears on Eli's screen when they receive guiding wind from Matilda. Ultimate Circling Eagle Matilda marks an enemy hero and fly around him for 2 seconds. During this whip's rush down on enemy 
and deal magic damage to them. After circling around the target, Matilda lands and pushes back enemy, stunning them for 0.6 seconds and dealing with magic damage to them. Note, Matilda will only push back and stun the marked enemy and other enemies in her path. If no enemies come in her path, then she will just push back and stun the mark enemy. So make sure to use it properly. Let's check out skill combos. The main damage of Matilda is in her first skill only. Rest are just to help her for more distance and support. Simplest comp: first skill plus ultimate. Use your ultimate. Increase stacks of your first skill to do maximum damage as well as pushback enemies. Her ultimate doesn't have much damage on its own. You must combine her first skill to deal some damage. Look at the stacks of her first skill. By using the combo, you can easily gain maximum stacks, kept at six. This combo is main reason why she is also classified as an assassin here. You can also add enhanced basic attack. Second comp: first skill plus second skill plus basic attack. If you don't have your ultimate or you want to save it for later, you have used this combo to gain up to four stacks of first skill. After activating your first skill. Try to move as much as possible to gain stacks. With movement speed boost of enhanced basic attack and first skill, you can easily cover great distance. Now, time for some tips and tricks. Never use your ultimate to mark low health enemies in a team fight, because if you mark a low health hero and if someone else kills him, then your ultimate will be wasted. You can see here that I marked enemy Matilda, but Aldous killed her, so my ultimate was wasted. Your allies can use Guiding Wind to teleport and fly with you when you are using your ultimate skill. So, when you want to gank an enemy hero, use second skill to give Guiding Wind to ally, and then use ultimate. to teleport all of them to the target hero it's time for some pros and cons pros matilda is way too good as a support and if your team synergy is good then you can easily win each and every game she is very hard to catch because of her movement speed boost and her immunity to cc skills her second skill allow her to help ally gank or retreat with ease now cons matilda is not very good for solo lane or fighting enemy on her own as once she uses first skill she will die easily if you are not playing with a good team then you cannot use her full potential her usability depends upon the team also Her ultimate makes her follow the enemy wherever he goes. If enemy flees to that turret, then you will also follow him inside. So use your ultimate wisely. So guys, that's all for today. See you guys in next video. Like and share the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.